Hello everybody, my name is Scatter, welcome back to Divine Journey 2. Um, one thing I want to get set up right here, um, just to have going for the future, is our um, cobblestone setup. Now we're already pretty loaded up on cobblestone in the drawers there. We have about 82,000 I believe, uh, which is plenty and it's fine. Um, but I want to get some stone stone, right? So I'm going to have the same setup that I did uh, back at the other base. Except instead of just going straight into the system, it's going to go into this uh, redstone furnace. Yeah, I, I did. I also built a redstone furnace, so I just reset up the uh, the kind of steel making thing. So you throw iron in here, and then as long as this is stocked with coal, it'll make steel ingots. So I've made a bunch of those, um, and as you can see, I built them into a bunch of uh, machine casings. But anyway, we have to put the mining upgrade back in here, and those straight in there and then input on the left so this you know it's it's going to be used for this you know i can always if i want to make iron i can just turn this off and then pause it for a little bit uh, i'm sure i could do something with redstone to you know uh kind of automate it but you know for for the time being you know i can just say if i ever want to make some steel just use it and I'm really the best thing to do would be to make another redstone furnace or something but uh for now this is going to be fine so we're going to get some regular stone and hopefully uh, fill up on that. And the unfortunate thing about it is that you can't actually put it in a compacting drawer. I mean, you can, but, uh, there's no point since it doesn't compact. Right. Um, so I just have it set up in a, in a regular drawer here and we may get some, uh, there, there's a few of these that could use some, uh, storage size upgrades. Um, so I'll probably do that at some point, but for right now it seems fine, uh, the way it is. So one thing we're going to need to do uh, today to get into what we're going to get into is some solarium ingots, which are just going to be gold and soul sand. So it's pretty easy to come by. Um, this actually, I don't have a whole lot of soul sand, but I can always go get some. It's, uh, you know, pretty plentiful in the nether, so I'm not too worried about it. Got that chucking away. So I've also uh, brought over the root stuff. Um, I actually had to do a, a summoning ritual for an eagle feather. What was that even for? I don't even remember. It was something that I like accidentally. Was it the? No. Oh, it was for Grove Supplication for the Fey Crafter because I moved this stuff, right? So uh, yeah, I had to summon a parrot and then go get an eagle out of it. Uh, you know, it was annoying. I realize you can breed the eagles. Um, it feels kind of too late for that to be worth doing at this point, but maybe should have done it earlier. Um, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Um, in fact... I will go to sleep right here. Well, I guess I won't. Uh, but any, anyway, um, so yeah, so if we get, uh, I made some pulverized, you know, tin and copper. Um, and I'm going to just go ahead and make all of this into bronze blend because uh, that is going to be used for the uh, RF powder, right? The other stuff. I always forget which is which here. But, um, and this is the thermo something or other, thermo, thermal conductor rod. Uh, so it's that, the bronze blend, uh, the GP powder, and it's not mana dust. What's the other ingredient in this? Bottle of enchanting. That's right. That's right. Bottle of enchanting. So I have 40. Uh, that's plenty. I'll just make what I have here of this. So you can always use more of this, right? And they make two each, so not bad. Uh, right. Wait, where did my other... What are my other bottles of enchanting go? I had 40. Oh, 16. Okay, I didn't see that other 16. Okay, so so that's really good. And I have plenty of this. So, uh, yeah, so today I'm hoping to get into some industrial foregoing. There's some really powerful stuff there. Um, but the, uh, the soul machine chassis is going to be our first real foray into that. So, solarium. Let's get out some of this that we just made. And then we also need to make some... Uh, one of these die blends, soul attuned, so we can make we can make half a stack, right right here right now. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I think the brown die is useful for other stuff. I'll make half of what I have, and then so I can turn. I have one industrial machine chassis. It's not too hard to make another one, um, but let's go ahead and make that right into a soul machine chassis, so we can get the quest done, and then we get a few more solarium ingots back for that, which is great. And then we got to move into making the slice and splice. So this, I'm not 100% sure what it's actually for. Um, if you look at the things like, you know, you can you can see the stuff it makes. But I mean, I really don't know 
what any any of this is is for i think maybe the guardian diode is what we're gonna get into right away but let's let's just see let's just see what it uh what it wants us to make so uh go ahead and make the slice and splice so this shouldn't be too bad it takes some dark steel um and we gotta make some tools out of it but i should have i have 12 that should be enough i think for what i want to do at least uh stick need an iron rod for the shears those for those some string and then what else is the uh two any 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 wood planks and it's just one string okay plank i'm not sure about any um ways to automate uh tree farming in this mod pack um i i tried to have a look i mean nothing shows in the uh in JEI, but I think there is a way to do it with industrial foregoing, so we're going to have that pretty soon, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, at least. So there's that stuff, and then the only other thing we need, any skull, some more solarium ingots, and the energi energized bimetal gears, and that's just some energetic alloy, which we have a bunch of, and then some of this. So I'll make a bunch of this, uh, a bunch of these gears, because it seems like they're going to be used for quite a bit of stuff, and... Um, then be right back to craft one of these okay and there's the slice and splice and if we take a look at the quests we should be able to see what we're actually going to use this for so the dark axe and dark shears uh they went into the crafting of it but then they're also actually just going to go into the uh, the usage of it as well so we can go ahead and oh please tell me i still have cables on me i don't um but the next thing that's coming up there's uh soul something about soul vials and uh, we can have a look in just a second here. But I want to want to see what this machine does. I, I've played a, I played with Ender IO before, but mostly with like the conduits and stuff, not necessarily like the things from the mod itself. If that makes any sense to you. Um, so where is this actually going? Well, we need to power it with a capacitor first of all, uh, which is here. So basic capacitor, double layer, and octatic. This doesn't look too bad to craft. I thought that was going to be a much later thing. So vibrant alloy, energetic, and ender pearl. Some glowstone ingots, that's fine. And then the basic capacitor, well, what is this? Grains of infinity, which we have plenty of. Energized dark ingot and steel rod, okay. That's not too bad at all. And then, so with the soul vial, that's just gonna be, well, how do we actually craft this? I guess with this, because the other ways, yeah, we don't, we don't have the divine RPG pearls, right, so. We're gonna have to use the fuse quartz of the solarium block, which is fine. But this is just some silicon, some solarium ingots, some redstone, and a zombie head, I guess. Okay, that's cool. And then, oh, you can make one of these two pyrolytic converter. Uh, you just turn anything into charcoal, basically, and get some creosote out of it as well. Possibly useful, although I don't think I'm gonna be going for that, but. Yes, capacitors. Oh, wow. The portable tank doesn't actually work with the uh, the energized dark ingot recipe. So that's annoying, but I'll just have to craft these one by one. I'm completely unsure of how many of these to make. 32 feels like a lot, but then, like, you know, each octatic capacitor takes two, or takes four of those because these take two of those. Um, but I guess, I mean, they're not that much more expensive, right? So I'll make a few. I'll make 16 of the basic ones and then i'll make four octatic capacitors and then i can use those and i can always make more if i find myself uh wanting that in the future so there's 16 basics there's the eight double layers and there's the four oh wait i should have made sure that this registered for the quest before i used up all of those okay it did we're good we're good there's the four octatic capacitors so uh they'll be useful for sure I can go ahead and stick one in here. And now it's getting power and I can go ahead and make uh, what I need to make here. So I guess the first thing, let's just have a look, vial. So the soul vial. So we're gonna have to go ahead and make some of these Z logic controllers. And these aren't difficult to make at all. All right, so all we need for this is some silicon. Now again, I don't know how many of these we're gonna need. Actually, let's see. Well, what are these used for other than the soul vials? I mean, a couple days. The reinforced upgrades, I mean, oh, you can enchant these? 
Franken Zombie, Vorpal, Enchanter. Oh, right. This is how you make specific enchantments, right? Okay. Yeah. I, I should look at these and see, like, exactly how you make certain enchantments. So, like, Protection, protection is a really good one, right? That's with Dark Steel. A whole stack for Protection 4, but possibly worth it. Feather Falling. Blast Protection is Gunpowder. Makes sense. Yeah, some of these seem really easy, and some of them seem uh, significantly harder to uh, to come by the materials. But this is, it's really cool. And I mean, I should just take a look at these uh, kind of off camera here. But I'm, I'm just, the possibilities are all floating through my head here. But um, in any case, oh, efficiency is only redstone and lapis. as well. Uh, it seemed pretty cheap, too. Anyway, uh, back to the matter at hand. I don't know how many of these I'm going to, oh, you can only... Wow, look at that. You can only put in one crafting recipe at a time in this machine. I did not know that. Um, but, but that's fine. Let's just go ahead and make our first one of these. I assume this is automatable somehow. Um, but there's our first Z-Logic controller. Uh, and if I go ahead and just throw in this stuff to make one more. Sure. And then the other thing we need is uh, fused quartz, which uh, you actually just make by throwing a block of quartz into the uh, simple alloy smelter here. So I, it looks like it takes a while and it used up three at a time, which is cool. So I guess that'll give me three blocks of fused quartz, but it's pretty cheap stuff overall. Uh, but I just need to get some of that and uh, then we should be able to make our first soul vial and then we can fill that with all kinds of cool stuff. So just while I'm waiting for these things to, uh, to finish processing here, I checked out the recipe for a mending book in the Enchanter. Uh, it's just an experience rod, uh, which doesn't look too crazy to make, right? Uh, but then you can also make it, uh, there's this other machine that I guess does the same thing as the Ender Enchanter, uh, Ender IO Enchanter, I should say, uh, called the Arcane Ensorcelator from Thermal. And uh, that lets you make a mending book with a nether star, uh, which also isn't too bad. But then, you know, you look at this and it's really not that expensive to build either. You know, it's it's pretty easy and then you can I, I assume you can't do all of the enchants in this and I, I guess you can only get level one books out of it which is kind of lame but for something like mending that you know you don't need a level two or anything for obvious reasons like it uh or infinity even like just an eye of ender and uh five buckets of xp is not a tiny amount but yeah this seems like a really useful machine too so maybe uh once we get some more equipment that we're gonna have to enchant this might be worth a look too all right, so we should have everything here to make our first soul vial, which I stupidly don't have pulled up in JEI anymore. There you go, soul vial. So that's a lot of, that's a pretty expensive, you know, glass bottle. So I'm not sure what it's used for, but what do we get out of this? Just a bit of solarium back, which I won't complain about. Get some energized dark ingots back for the capacitors, which is nice. And uh, now the soul binder. This is a pretty big, uh, pretty big moment here. And it's actually a pretty easy craft. Um, I don't know why it was gated behind Soul Vial, but, um, yeah, it's just some solarium, a bunch of skulls and heads, and, uh, the, the Soul Machine chassis that we already have. So, uh, in, uh, oh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. I already used it for the slice in this place. Okay, so I'll, I just have to make another one of those, and, uh, then we can make the Soul Binder. Just waiting for some dyes to process here to make these, uh, machines and uh i just thought i would give the uh the redstone furnace here an upgrade i i think is that the best thing i can give an upgrade to i mean the hardened upgrade kits aren't super hard to make i mean mithril kind of hard to come by but soon that's going to be easier so let's just go ahead and stick it on there and now that's just a little bit faster and then you can throw a few more augments on there as well if we want to get around to that but it's just a little bit faster now still not enough to keep up with the uh the cobblestone from this but um Still a little bit better. Also, I figured out in the in the interim between episodes that you can just right click uh, these drums and see how much uh, fluid is stored in them. So, I I know that now. <laughs> I know I complained about not being able to see it, but um, anyway, yes, I'll meet you back to craft the soul binder. All right, here we go. Big moment. Mob farm really coming in clutch for these uh, the skeleton skulls and whatnot. But there's our soul binder. And that, I think, is a pretty big deal. It's the big quest here. It's the uh, the end of the chapter. I'll go hook it up next to the other machines here. I don't know what the Soulbinder is going to be used for, but 
We will find out. All right. So we can stick another capacitor in there whenever we want to use it. Spawner? Spawner in there? Show recipes? Oh, yeah, sure enough. Broken spawner. So you can just re reconfigure a spawner, it looks like. That's pretty cool. I don't know what any of the rest of this stuff is, really, but um, yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look at the quest. We got two vibrant crystals for free, uh, which are not too bad to make anyway, but I won't complain about them being free. I'll go ahead and claim this as well, just because it's sitting there. And now, if you go ahead and look, we can get into Chapter 11. So there's three entry points, it looks like, to Chapter 11, and I, I don't know what is up on this side. But on the left here, we're going to get through the industrial foregoing machines, which is super, super exciting. And there's a couple mechanism things left to go as well, uh, just some of the more advanced mechanism stuff, it looks like. But yeah, so this is mechanism here. So the electrolytic core. Oh, no. Here we Here we go. This... Yeah, okay, so these are octatic capacitors, and each one of these takes two of these, and each one of these takes two of these. So it's an awful lot of that stuff that we need. And then these enhanced machine parts, you get eight of them, thankfully, for one of these crafts, but each of these, so every eight of these takes one of the enhanced chassis, which takes one of the end steel chassis, which takes one of the sole machine chassis, industrial, simple, machine frame, machine block, steel casing, and that's pretty much the end of the line. But that is an insane craft, and we're going to have to do... Um, at least some of it starting now. So, uh, yeah, in order to make our way through here, um, we're going to have to, <laughs> we're going to have to make some of this stuff. Okay. Well, at least the capacitors I pretty much already made, right? Like I'm going to have to make more, but if you go ahead and look, octatic capacitor, I can stick one in the soul binder that we just made and I can put the other one, use the other two rather for the, uh, for the craft once we're ready for that. So, uh, the other thing we need... So we know how to make the soul machine chassis, and that's fine. The end steel chassis, how do you actually make end steel? So that's going to be any kind of end stone, dark steel, and obsidian. Okay, so I need a lot more dark steel as well. Then the enhanced chassis is going to take a melodic alloy, which is popped chorus and end steel. Okay, so that's pretty much the same thing. And then this just takes electrical steel. Okay, so that's a lot of resources that I just need to make some more of. Um, so I'll get on the grind and then uh, check in periodically, I guess. See, the frustrating thing about this specific crafting uh, line is that I don't know I don't know how many to make of what. So I have like two and a half-ish stacks of energized dark ingots here, right? So like all of the dark ingots that I have, these can pretty safely be turned into energized dark ingots, right? But then the energized dark ingots, I can turn those into uh dark steel right but how many of them do i turn into dark steel because the dark ingots themselves are actually used for quite a lot between the capacitors and the simple chassis which is used you know to uh for a lot of stuff further down the line so i mean i think at this point i just need a bunch of capacitors mainly but um i need a bunch of them i guess i can just keep it all as energized dark ingots and then see when i need more steel down the line but then the dark steel is used for so damn much that like I want to have a bit of a stockpile of it. Maybe I'll just make like a stack at a time of it. I mean, that sounds like a decent plan. Like, I'm not overflowing with the refined obsidian anyway, so maybe that is the best plan after all. One thing I do want to make to uh, kind of speed up this process a little bit here is uh, the, the regular alloy smelters. So we're going to upgrade the simple alloy smelters. Um, well, I say that plural. I made two. I, I made another one. Um, you can see the purple bar, I'm pretty sure just means it's full of power. Hopefully that still works for the crafting. Um, and it looks like it, it will, which is fine. I don't care if it keeps the power. Um, so there's our regular alloy smelter and there's a quest for that. And hopefully it should be a lot faster once we get an, uh, octatic capacitor in. So I went ahead and made, um, speaking of the capacitors, I made a stack of the basics and then... I, like, the, the regular capacitors, they aren't used much. Um, like, there's a few things in here. Yeah, maybe maybe this is... Is that any capacitor? No, just basic or silver. So maybe maybe I should keep some of them on hand, but they're pretty cheap anyway. So that would turn into 16 octatic ones. 
I'll just make the octatic ones to order for now because I don't actually know uh, what I'm going to be using those for. But I'll uh, get one of those put into the smelter. And what does that take? Glowstone ingots should have some of those. So I'll make just two of those for now and then just one of these for the alloy smelter. And hopefully... This should be a lot faster than the other one was. Um, oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Um, configure I.O. We're, we want to push out from the back, so hopefully that stops happening. Uh, yeah, and it looks fine. So there's our capacitor. And so let's throw in another stack. That, that, and what's the other thing? How do you actually make? Just regular steel. Okay, let's just do that 27. That is probably like 10 times as fast than, than it was before. So this is looking a lot better. So now we're going to get that dark steel piling up. And I just came down here to check on our power situation. Uh, even with, you know, the, the, the machines we have running, you know, we're still on a power surplus here. You know, I have a huge backlog of biodiesel, so I'm really happy to see that. That's a lot better than uh, the situation I was expecting, which was uh, definitely not that. So we're not quite at the point where the drawers are backing up yet, but, I mean, if you left this for long enough, it would get there. But we're not quite there yet. I do want to make another set of thermoelectric generators uh, just to help out the diesel a little bit, but, uh, I mean, it doesn't even really need it. Right now, like I said, there's still a surplus here, so it's uh, it's looking pretty good on that front as well. There's a lot of stuff that needs obsidian uh, in the, uh, well, not even coming, just current, um, all the refined obsidian, right? And then uh, I also wanted to upgrade the dank null, and if you look at the uh, the recipes for that, uh, the rest of the, um, well, I assume it gets even worse later on, but each of these panels needs four double compressed obsidian, so that's in the ballpark of like, well, what is it exactly, 200, no, 324 obsidian for each of these panels, so in the ballpark of like 12 or 1300 Actually, yeah, it's 1296, wouldn't it be? Yeah, anyway, it's a lot of obsidian for uh, for the entire thing. So I found this huge lava pool. It's genuinely massive. Like, it's it starts at this level, and then, like, it just keeps going down. So I've just been vein mining a bunch of this and um, getting a whole bunch of obsidian. So uh, I left all the stuff processing back, uh, back at the base. And uh, so I'll grab this and then upgrade the dank null and uh, some other stuff when we get back. And I went ahead and stuck the obsidian in a compressed drawer. Um, it's a pretty, pretty big amount of obsidian, to be fair. Um, should need 16 of those, double compressed. And uh, well, yeah, another thing you can do if you really wanted to is you can stick the double compressed or whatever. Like, whatever you put in the drawer is going to be, like, the base drawer. So if I put this in here now, uh, which I won't do because it'll be a hassle to get out, you, you'd have, then have double, triple, and then quadruple compressed, and you can, like... You could scale that up to however, like it goes up to octuple or whatever, which is insane, but I'm sure it won't seem as insane later on, but uh, that's the kind of stuff you can do with it. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, and then we just need 16 platinum, which I should have made. <laughs> I definitely don't have 16 platinum. Okay. Well, this is fine though. This is fine because I just need to make some more of that with the cinnabar, right? So what is that? The, uh, in the, in the, uh, not the induction smelter. No. Is it the induction smelter? It is the induction smelter, isn't it? Yeah. Which is the the machine that... Wait. No, it isn't. Wait. How did I get this in the first place? It was with nickel ore. Oh, it is the induction... I, I skipped right over it. Okay, so I need to make another induction smelter because I don't know how I would have managed to lose this. But it's it's completely nowhere to be found. Like, it's not in here. Right, like I'm not being really stupid. It's 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 just nowhere, so I'm just gonna have to make another one of these, I think. Oh, which sucks, but it must have just dropped down there and then I don't know, it just went somewhere. I don't know, but I'll make one, I'll get some more platinum, and uh then we'll upgrade the dank null. Okay. I I genuinely have no idea what just happened, but I'm 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 afraid. I'm annoyed. Uh, there was just a big explosion. I lost a servo. I had gelid cryothium going into here. And it was making cinnabar. 
that seems to have been fine. Why can you like not use fluiducts for this or something? Why would that? I I seriously have no idea. I want to try it again just to see what <laughs> what was going on, but oh my god. Um. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not worry about it because I'm pretty sure I got what I need already. Um. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, there's that last Cinnabar, and then we'll just make some more Platinum out of this. Yeah, if anybody knows what would cause Fluidux to just explode like that, please, please let me know. Um, because I don't have a clue. Let's just get one more piece of Platinum here. Turn that off just in case I'm not fast enough for it. There we go. Now we should be able to make that. I'm like shook from that, man. I don't know what that was all about. Okay, well, we got... We should have everything here. All right, and then... It's used for... There we go. Three. Wait, it's 12. It's not 16. It's... Uh, I only had 12. I can't do math. Okay, be right back. Just for fun, I set this up again. Just to see if the same thing is going to happen. So this is all it was. And I know it wasn't a creeper or anything like that. Because it was literally like... There were multiple explosions. Like it was not a creeper type explosion. I'll tell you that right now. I've never been more sure of anything before. Like... these these This isn't like... You know, they're not getting too much power. It's not one of those deals, right? Um, why is that going backwards? Oh, why is it going backwards? That's just output. What are you... I'll change you to output just to be sure. This one is outputting. This one should be outputting as well. That's nothing that's outputting on the back. This is outputting on the back. This is nothing on the back. This is outputting and this is outputting as well. Yeah, I don't know. Um, where is that going? Oh, it's just going down. Was that just like a... My eyes playing tricks on me or something. Oh yeah, that's totally that's going down there, but it looks like it's continuing along there. That's uh that's pretty funny, but ultimately nothing to worry about. And I guess the explosion problem isn't a thing anymore. No idea why that was happening in the first place, but there's the platinum we need. There's four of the panels, and we can upgrade into the dank null mark five. And that takes a 3,200. So we go from 2048 to 3,200. Not insane, I'll be honest with you, but I mean, it's it's good. And the next, let me tell you, the next upgrade is not coming for a while because Mark Six holds uh, two to the 32, uh, or no, two to two to the 31 minus one. Uh, so about two billion uh, items per slot, and uh, it takes uh, singularities and black hole units and all this stuff that uh, we don't have yet for sure. But at some point. That's coming, but that's going to be the last Dangnall upgrade for a while. Um, so just before we end off, I do want to just make just the first bit of this uh, mechanism uh, machine part uh, that we need. So let me gather up the resources for that and get to crafting. So one of the things we need for the uh, sentient ender here is a soul vial full of a witch. Uh, and rather than go looking for one for God knows how long, uh, you can just summon one with the ritual here. And uh, then I believe all you have to do is just right click with the soul vial uh, in order to summon one. If not, then this is going to be awful. But yeah, there we go. So we trapped the witch in the soul vial. And now all we need is everything else. This ender resonator is not a bad craft at all. It's very similar to the uh, zombie Z, Z processor, something along those lines that we made before. And then all we need to do is just soul bind this with the witch. And zero out of four, so we need levels. So use player XP. And, oh, that's a cool sound. So there we go. There's the sentient ender. And uh, we're getting pretty close here. Another very important component that I uh, more or less forgot about until right now is going to be the end steel, which is just going to be end stone, obsidian, and dark steel. So really not that bad, although it's another thing that's going to eat up all the dark steel. Not super happy about that, but 
Uh, we'll just get a bunch of this smelted up. And then all we need is uh, just the ingots themselves and the bars, which are crafted uh, in the normal way. Popped chorus fruit is, of course, just going to be chorus fruit in the regular smelter. And then that, together with end steel in the alloy furnace, gets you the uh, melodic ingot, which we need uh, at, at least four of. Four, four for each craft of the enhanced casing, but we're going to need a lot of enhanced casings, I think. But for now, only one, but we're going to need some more. And with that, I think we finally have everything we need to do this craft. So first of all, the end steel bars, which is enough for four end steel chassis. And now starting from the machine frame, we go simple machine chassis, one. Industrial machine chassis, two. Soul machine chassis, three. End steel chassis, four. I don't, I don't, are there quests for these things? I don't want to be <laughs> missing out on any of these. There is one for the enhanced one. It looks like there's not one for the end one. So here's the enhanced one. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought we were all done here. I looked at this craft and I thought this was, I thought this was industrial dye blend, but it's not. It is enhanced dye blend, which needs grains of pizality. And I'm so scared to click on this to find out what goes into making it. And I'm so scared to click on this to find out what goes into making it. Pulsating iron. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Ender pearl and iron, that's fine, that's doable. Around a diamond to make one of these, that's fine. This in the sag mill. We don't have, we don't have a sag mill, do we? So I need to make a sag mill? I can make a sag mill. I can do that for you, that's fine. That's totally, totally fine. Okay, false alarm on uh, finishing the sequence, but... This is a small detour uh, on the way to a worthy destination. All right, so all things considered, this isn't too bad to make. So two of the simple sag mills, which I, I assume there's no quest for. Um, it's just going to be, yeah, it's just going to be the quest for the regular sag mill here. Two of the simple ones go into making the, uh, the full-size one. I do need some more steel plates, which I missed. One, two, three. And there's the sag mill. Okay. So that's, that's not bad at all. And then we just need ender pearls. Let's do half a stack of those and then half a stack of iron and those together in the induction smelter. I'm sure among other things, but we can just use the induction smelter. Um, it's going to make pulsating iron ingots. There you go there. That looks like it's going to take a while. That's fine. And um, running a bit low on space here. But I'll just throw my sag mill right next to that. I think it's almost time to like move up, make a new line of machines up here or something. It's a little bit, it's going to be a little bit clumsy, but that's okay. It's not really any more clumsy than it currently is. I think it will be totally, totally fine. Oh, I must have actually had some of those in my bag when I just looked and I missed them. Which is fine. But there we go. Sag mill. Do I have any item ducts on me? No, of course not. Uh, but that's fine. So all I need... It's just some of these around a diamond to make the crystal, no, to make the pulsating iron. Wait, no, this is the pulsating iron. And then I sag mill the crystal. And that's what we're really looking for, right? I'm not looking through all that for that. Hang on. <laughs> Mithril, I don't know if I have any more of. So it's this, it's this, it's this. So I need four. I need eight. I need eight of these crystals. So which means I need 32. So I'm making exactly enough. But then that's just the sag mill. Oh, oh man. All right. Be <laughs> All right. You, you know the deal at this point. Okay, this uh, induction smelter is going so slow, I decided to uh, go ahead and make uh, the auxiliary reception coil upgrade for the first time, which I know there's a quest for... Maybe... Am I, am I lying? Maybe there is no quest for it. No, there is. It just takes a few. Okay, well, I'm not making that many right now, but... In any case, I, I want to throw it in here because it's so slow. Like, I've been... It, it's been a little while, and it's still only halfway done, so... I want to get it going just a little bit faster, and it looks like it has, which is good. Um, but yeah, okay. Now this time for real. I'll meet you back for the uh, <laughs> finale. That's a bit too grandiose for uh, the relatively little progress that's happened here, but uh, sure. Okay, so pulsating iron around the diamonds. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing it that way. 
There you go. Pulsating crystal. Not quite sure what else these are used for, but right now, I'm going to go ahead and say I don't care. Uh, because I know exactly what I'm going to use them for. And it's pretty damn important. Now, this whole time, by the way, I'm fully aware that I'm going to need multiple of these. Like, at least three, I think, of these components I'm about to craft. Um, but, I mean, honestly, it's just it's just a bit... I don't know. <laughs> it's just a lot right now, I guess. Um, but that's... That's all right. That's totally all right. See, I, I can do it. If I do one, I, I can do all this, you know, off camera. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Okay. Now here, enhanced dye blend. This is what we needed that for. I can't. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. You actually need... Oh, you actually need eight. You actually need eight because two go in this goes into that that many times. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry about this. Okay, for what has to, at this point, be the last time. Four more pulsating crystals into the sag mill. Mill them up. Grains of pisality. With those, I should be able to make two more enhanced dye blends. Right? With that, the enhanced machine chassis. With that, enhanced machine parts. That's eight of them. And with that... Oh, I forgot the mithril, didn't I? Do I even have... I didn't use the mithril I made that one time for anything, right? No, okay. Thank God, okay. And red alloy ingots, which I'm running a bit low on, but they're easy enough to make. <sighs> Wait, that's not red alloy. That's red alloy plus silicon. Red alloy plus silicon. Okay, yeah, sure. No, sure, sure, it's fine. It's fine, it's just... It's just Red alloy and silicon is fine. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's just, just one thing. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Totally fine. That shouldn't take too long. Redstone alloy. Okay, good. What else is this? What else is this used for? Grinding ball. I guess you can make grinding balls out of a lot of uh, stuff from this mod. All of these um, thrusters. Okay. Power cell card. I know I'll need that for uh, some later stuff. Oh, some stuff here. It doesn't look to be super insane. Oh, it's a lot of um, a lot of industrial foregoing machines. Okay, so I'm going to need... Well, maybe it's not a lot of them. Block placer seems pretty useful. Uh, although the machine case... Oh, well. Now that, now, that I'm, now that I've made enhanced machine parts, it doesn't seem so insane, does it? Like, I can make this like it's it's a lot, but it's... Like, the diamonds is honestly the, big, the biggest thing about it, I think. Not having... Uh, access to a whole lot of diamonds is uh, a pretty big worry there for me but in any case finally here is our electrolytic core the quest reward for this better give us like eight of these <laughs> i realize it won't but two mithrilling it well wasn't that worth it okay well i hope that you managed to stick with me through that i barely did uh but there is the rest of our stuff here some more grains of infinity some more dark steel it's great um, yeah, well, there we go. We've officially entered chapter 11, um, which I'm super excited about. However, uh, I need to, I need to get on the ball with a lot some of this, uh, some of these resources, because if not, uh, you know, it's going to be a huge slog to get through chapter 11. So the first thing I need is these three mechanism machines, right? And, uh, that's to get plastic. And then with plastic, I can get into the industrial foregoing machines. Then I can make this, uh, brown ingot that I forget the name of. And then we can get into the RF tools builder, which is going to be, uh, one of the most useful things we've built so far. Um, but that's all going to be not right now. So for now, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.